Welcome back everybody. In Sons of the Forest, you have some pretty mean cannibals and some very spooky caves. Well, I want to help you guys with that by showing you how to build a cozy little place to call home. Before I speak about Kelvin here, I wanted to point out on the sound in this game. It's very, very immersive. That's the first thing I noticed when I woke up. Make sure you keep Kelvin here alive, he'll be really useful to help build the base. Since you can give him tasks to gather for you to make things easier. Don't forget to open that little emergency bag. A lot of good goodies in there that you can use. Especially the manual. Make sure to read through it. I know, I know, you wouldn't be here if you would have read it through. But the way that they have this manual set up, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you could take a look at any time if you're confused. Now that we know how to build, where do we build? If you press M you can see the map. I'm gonna just skip through right where we found a place. And my advice would be to find a river and build down river so that you can go up river to chop wood. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Once you found a cozy little place, you can build a dam to stop the logs from going further than you need them to. You'll need to chop down some quarter logs and you do that by looking at the log while it's on the ground until you see a red line appear. The direction you're standing will change how you cut it. You would want to put a quarter log upright in the water to then put a full log so you can block other logs going down river. Then you rinse repeat the process until you blocked the river. I was going to gather a lot of logs so I had to consider overflow so I'm putting quarter logs down and trying to see if I can fit any other connections. You can also put full logs upright and chop them down on the spot. Now that the dam is built, time to chop some wood. To make things easier, you can chop the trees towards the direction of the river. When you're done with chopping your trees, you can start going down river and declogging the river. Depending on the area, you'd have more or less difficulty of bringing those logs all the way down where you need them to be. Now that you have your logs and you're ready to build, you're going to need to start with a platform. So 
you're gonna have to chop some half logs and some quarter logs this will help you to build on uneven surfaces when you put your first log down you can bring up the second log and it will lock in the distance this way you can build a straight platform if a quarter log is too short that's where the half logs come in and if a quarter log is too tall then you just don't put any log there you just put a full log across now you can start putting full logs across and I'm gonna speed up the process here I like to build the house like the shell of the house first and then I move on to fill it up with all the flooring and the roofing and the walls This house I'm building, it's going to be a 3x3 three three, one floor with an attic. If you place something down where you didn't want it to be, you can hold C to remove it. The reason why I'm making a line and not squares with, with these logs is because when I'm going to put down my flooring, I want them all to face one direction. For some reason, I decided to make things difficult for myself and I put the flooring after I put my roofing. I would recommend you put flooring down before you put your pillars for your first floor. Once you finish the shell of the first floor, you can put a ramp down to access the second and make a shell of the roof or second floor. Now that you have the whole shell of your house ready, it's time to put supports down. You can use half logs to jam them in between corners, then you can remove the supports in the middle. Now I'm going to fill up the roofing and flooring. I'm also going to speed that up even faster because it's a process that is pretty much rinse repeat. Just bring a full log, see the two lines and then put it down.
To make a door or window, it's kind of like chopping wood. You come to the wall, you want a door or window, and you just start chopping off. Now that I placed my last wall, this is how it looks like. Now that the house is built, time to put some furniture down. The way you do that is that you access your notebook and you hold X to switch modes. And you'll see a whole bunch of furniture you can put down. Decoration, traps, even pre-built houses. Once you finish building any kind of storage, you can come to Kelvin to tell him to fill it up. Time to put the campfire down. To put a campfire down, you equip the sticks and you look on the ground to put them down. And then if you want to make it per more permanent, you take a bunch of rocks and you put them around. To put a door down, it's just like the flooring. You look at the place you want to put the door and then you wait for the arrows to appear. This is it, this is how the house looked like. Let me show you guys a little tour around and inside. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. See you guys next time.